Welcome to Deutsche Math September newsletter. This is the last installment of the four word problems that's the core of middle school. And then in this question, we're dealing with a one variable equation and solving word problem using variables. The question states, Connor brought a baseball and a bat for 76 and 25 cents. The cost for bat is $56.25 more than baseball. And then ask, how much did the bat cost? Let's move on and solve this problem. I will start the problem and give you a good overview on how we solve word problems in general. And typically, oh, let me pick a better color for us. Um, there are four step process to solve a word problem. And if you have a good idea what the steps are, it does make it easier for students to solve. So in the first step problem, which we're gonna repeat for the, you know, the next few clips as well, is, is in that step one is where we define, step one, where we define the variable here define variable. Step two, which is the most important one, this is where we decode the secret, if you want to uh, call that. Or in another word, we translate the words into equations. And then um, step three and th step four is not nearly as important as step two in that the word problem is all about step two. Step three, once we have the equation, we go ahead and solve it and then we double check. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this problem. We were told that the, the bat is what we're looking for, the cost for the bat, cost. Of bat. So in our step one, we are going to assume that we pretend we know what the bat is cost by assigning it to a variable. We'll call it a T. It's T dollars. Since we were told that the bat cost, um, was it uh, $56.25 more um, than the ball? So from there, we can literally go word for word since the bat cost T, right? The bat cost T and $56 more than the ball. So we can from here, we can incur, incur or we can deduce the ball is whatever the cost of the bat subtract $56.25 more. And think about it, that makes sense. Uh, a baseball is less expensive than a bat and the bat costs this much and then the ball is $56.25 less than whatever this cost is. All right, so this is our first um, translation here. Now the second translation, let's take a look at what a tra second translation requires us to do. It says the total cost for baseball and bat was uh, $76.25. All right, so let's go pick our color back in and then total cost, that means $76.25 is the total. Total means the ball and then we'll plus the bat. Bat, we already assume is T dollars. And the ball from earlier, we know it's whatever the bat was, and then we take $56.25 less of that. So the total cost is $76.25, that's equal to the ball plus the bat. And this equation, what we just come up with, is one variable equation. It's called an equation because it has an equal sign, obviously, and also, more importantly, it has a variable. Variable is something that we don't know. We we don't know what this number is, but we just sign. It's kind of like a holding spot. Once we hold the spot, we can drag the spot through the words and use the spot that we assigned and then come up with the equation. Okay, so we're done with step one and our step two. Step two was the more difficult one where we had literally dragging the equation out of the words. Okay, from there onwards, really, step three is pretty easy in that we have the equation 
and we are using uh, arithmetic, uh, algebra, whatever you've learned so far. Our, our goal is to figure out what T is. Um, let's go right ahead and solve it. Let me copy the equations down. $56.25 is our ball, and this is our bat. Okay. There's one variable, there's two variables. My end goal is have the variable all by itself. So what I got to do is basically clean all the numbers, gather all the variables, as you see one and here, one here. Uh, we need to combine them, t plus t, I would have 2t, okay, minus $56.25 is equal to $76.25, okay. Now, once again, our goal is keep the t all by itself. In order to do that, I need to move this number over onto the other side. Mathematically, we do the opposite of whatever we have here. Um, so I'm going to add $56.25 on both sides. The reason is that then I can cancel this one. Okay? I need to do it on both left and right side so I don't change my equal sign here. Uh, if you want to run this through your calculator, you can push the pause button, but um, I did this earlier. I know it's uh, $133.50. Now I have a T over here. I have a tool, which is the coefficient. Coefficient is just a fancy name to say the number in front of the variable here. In order to get a T all by itself, I need to divide it by 2 on both sides. Now again, it's both sides because we would not want to change our equal sign. Okay, So here, then the last step here, 2 divided by 2, I have t left by itself. And then $132, if you would like to, you can run through your, this is a work area, this is our scratch area. If you want to, you can run into your um, calculator and calculate it. For, for the purpose of this one, I'll just solve it on this side. Okay. 5, and there's our decimal, 2. Four twenty-five. Okay, so we figure out that the bat is sixty-six dollars and twenty-five cents. All right, this is our step three where we solve. Now step three has a lot more work than step two, but see, however, step three would not make sense if step two was not in there. You know, we don't have this equation coming from the step two, then we don't have anything to solve. For that reason, that um, I really think the step two is worth a lot more points. And, and I, when I was teaching on college at the college level, and that's exactly what I did. Um, I gave more points to the uh, students who can do step two. Step four is our double check. We were told that the, um, or we solved actually, the bat is $66.25 and we know that the ball is cheaper than the bat by $56.25. So um, from here we know that the ball is $10. Okay, now we set the total, we spend it was ball plus our bat, which is $66.25. So all together we spend $76.25. Okay, have a confident day.